turn and it's Bachier, the French and Irish 2000 Guineas winner that leads the way from Giants Causeway in second. Then back in third is Shibboleth on the inside of Cape Town and China Visit on the outside is hard at work as they make the final bend. Bachier's a little wide on the track, Giants Causeway going for the run up the inside to join issue, then Shibboleth in behind them. Medicean trying to run on up the far side, followed next by Sarafan. Inglenook on the outside with Fanar. They head to the final furlong. Bachier and Giants Causeway. Shibboleth coming to challenge. Valentino is bursting through Red Cap. Then Sarafan behind these Medicean. It's Valentino, Giants Causeway, Shibboleth. Sarafan from the rear. Up front it's Giants Causeway and Valentino. They race for the line. Giants Causeway. They said... Gates fly, they're racing in the Dubai World Cup and Plan 2 was slow to move. Capone and Red Cadeau not showing a great deal of pace after the start. Royal Delta is and went to the lead with Hunter's Light second. Side glance third, Treasure Beach fourth and an African story. Animal Kingdom out wide, Dallahan closer to the fence going forward on the inside of Meandre. Red Cadeau's on the rail, a length and a half to Plan 2, Capone is second last and Casiano had immediately dropped out to the tail of the field as Royal Delta takes them to the back of the track past the 1500 metres mark. First quarter, a leisurely 26.5. Royal Delta leading by three parts of a length. Animal Kingdom went up to be second. A length and a half away was Hunter's Light third on the inside of Side Glance. Another two lengths, Meandre on the outside of Treasure Beach. A length to Dalahan, a head to Red Cadeau on the rail. A length to Planter, a length to African Story. Capone second last and Casiano. A length and a half back is the best part of 13 lengths from the lead as they cast the 1,000 metres mark astern with 800 run in 50 flat. Royal Delta taking them to the back bend and the 800 metres mark with a break of a neat length over Animal Kingdom. A length and a half away, Hunter's Light on the fence. On the inside of Side Glance, two lengths Meandre being ridden along, then Treasure Beach. Dallahan's out three deep, Plant two in the middle. Red Cadeau on the rail, then Casiano, followed by African Story and Capone had dropped out to be last with 4.50 to run. Coming around the turn, Royal Delta surrendered to Animal Kingdom, who darted a length and a half in front of Side Glance. Hunter's Light into the clear, Plant two on the outside and an African Story, the Derby winner. Animal Kingdom in front with 200 metres left to go. Red Cadeau on the inside starting to flash home. Will he have time? Animal Kingdom leads. Animal Kingdom three lengths in front of Red Cadeau and Animal Kingdom wins the Dubai World Cup in a US-Australia combination. Still for the Breeders' Cup Classic sent on their way to a perfect beginning. Any given Saturday, Ryder's foot nearly came out the irons at the break, but he broke beautifully. Now he has hard spun. Hard spun going up to take over. Lawyer on right there at the rail. Any given Saturday between them. Now the grey diamond stripes runs up on the outside and George Washington going to take back into fifth. Street Sense very smartly has taken back now. Nine lengths off the leaders and Curlin. Curlin Street Sense, they race alongside of one another. Awesome Gem second last and Tiago is quite content to give them 15 length start early. Into the turn they go in the classic and Hard Spun has ensured a good pace. Lawyer Ron is right there down at the rail and Diamond Stripes is in third. Any given Saturday in fourth. He's being nudged out a little as any given Saturday. He's five off the leader. George Washington already the rider earning his money as he's having to ride George Washington from fifth. Then we come back to Curlin. Street Sense just waiting patiently down at the rail and Street Sense 11 off the lead but running nicely. A gap of six to Awesome Gem and Tiago. A half mile to go in the Breeders' Cup Classic and Hard Spun goes on. Hard Spun by two to Lawyer Ron. Any given Saturday, Diamond Stripes has gone as is George Washington. Curlin and Street Sense are making their runs now. Curlin fourth, Street Sense down at the rail and Street Sense is threatening to run a big one. Street Sense and Curlin, they got to get to hard spun. Lawyer Ron did not go on. Any given Saturday was never really happy today. A three-horse race as they turn for home in the big one. Hard spun, but Curlin is breathing down his neck. Street Sense literally scraping the paint, but Curlin strikes the front, and Curlin is powerhousing home. Hard spun, Street Sense did not go on, and it's all Curlin in the race of the year for horse of the year.
A race away and later more slips as he comes out of the gates. He almost uh, deposits Ronan Whelan who's lost an eye and he's quickly got it back though. So drama at the start there as Glory awaits with the white headgear led early on but now later more has gone past him to take up the running. Magician with the blue and orange stripes on the cap runs in third position. Further behind this is Mars, a plain blue cap. He runs against the rails. In company with him, Dawn Approach. He's pulling hard as he did at Epsom. He races in mid-division. And comes the dark blue colours of George Vancouver. Don Donnell is next. And Toronado is held up by Richard Hughes at the rear of the field. It's a strong gallop. They're already heading towards the halfway stage. Leitia Moore shows by just about one length. Gloria Waits, a white jacket, white headgear running in second. Magician comes up on the outside of those in third position. About a length and a half to Mars. Dawn Approach in fifth position. Mashawish with the nose band against the rails. George Vancouver and Don Donald the next two. Toronado is the back marker. They're making their way for home. They have two and a half furlongs to go. Leitia Moore still holding off. Gloria Waits who's ridden along in second. Then Magician in third. Behind this is Mars and then Dawn Approach who's being ridden along. Toronado on the right coming through the Mashawish on the left. One from the nose band. Trouble there as Gloria Waits uh, drifts off the rails. And now it's Mashawish who's come through to take it up. Toronado down the centre of the track and Dawn Approach between them. Dawn Approach storming through in the blue jacket to challenge Toronado as the end of the closing stages. It's Toronado the grey. Dawn Approach the blue colours. Very tight between them. They're going to hit the line very close. Dawn Approach and Toronado. About to run now inside the final mile and into the bottom right-hand turn and there'll be a good 15 lengths first to last. And it's Nayef Road and Withhold who continue to apply the pressure. Three lengths back to Moonlight Spirit, Prince of Aaron, Stradivarius. This is going to be a real test. Technician further back from Mekong and Cross Counter. Inside the final seven furlongs now and it's pretty much uphill from here on in. And Nayef Road still off the fence from in second place, Withhold. Three lengths to Moonlight Spirit. In fourth then is Prince of Aaron. Stradivarius just getting a bit closer now up the inside of Prince of Aaron. Technician is following Stradivarius all the way. Mekong and no move from Cross Counter and James Doyle at the back of the field. They're a bit closer bunched together now. Nayef Road and Withhold still out clear but the others covered by just a handful of lengths. Headed by Moonlight Spirit in third place. Stradivarius following him through. Then out wide is Prince of Aaron. Technician and then Mekong and cross counter they begin to turn right-handed now with three and a half furlongs left to cover and still Nayef Road and withhold chased by Moonlight Spirit Stradivarius into fourth and Frankie de Torre having a look round there he's looking pretty confident as they swing the corner and now pulling wide Stradivarius chased by Mekong and then Technician and Prince of Aaron struggling and cross counter and out in front Nayef Road but here comes Stradivarius absolutely cruising along breezing along on the Bridal. In third place, Moonlight Spirit. In fourth, then is Withhold from Cross Counter. And now Frankie says go on Stradivarius. And it's an immediate response. And he quickens right away from Nayef Road. Six lengths, eight lengths. It's going to be ten lengths. He's going to absolutely street them. The best stayer in the world, Stradivarius. Three gold cups. In the Breeders' Cup mile, Wise Dan stumbled just a bit coming out of the gate. And Silver Max goes out to take the early lead. And there goes obviously after him. And Bright Thought is right with the leaders two and third. And then it's Silencio to the inside and fourth. In between horses is no jet lag, who's off the rail and moving up. Zah Approval is next. Olympic Glory is just to the inside of Wise Dan. And there's six lengths off the lead early. He be fire and ice, four lengths behind them. Cristoforo Colombo is the trailer. Oh, 21! One and four was the first quarter onto the backstretch and obviously going along at a freaky pace. He's out there by a three length margin over Silver Max in second. And then it's Bright Thought, no jet lag. Two lengths back to Za Approval. Silencio is done on the inside. Wise Dan is outside of Olympic Glory and there's still six lengths behind. Past a half mile in 44 and two. By far the fastest half in mile history. 
into the turn they go. And obviously, continues to lead the way. Taken on by Silver Max on the outside. Za approval moves up into third. No jet lag is fourth. Wise Dan has had this hot pace in front of him. He's four lengths behind. Olympic Glory is under a drive, and they're into the stretch. Obviously, Za approval comes after him. Wise Dan's in the center of the course. Silencio is coming on too, but here's Wise Dan alongside of Za approval. Silencio coming up the fence. Wise Dan's got him. Wise Dan, brilliant in the mile. Everybody's in line, and they're off. Looks like the early lead goes to Mike Gallant. Yes, Mike Gallant going for the lead with Price the Prince on the outside. Secretary of the way very well, has good position on the rail, and in fact is now going up with the leaders. They're moving for the first turn. It is Secretariat. Sham on the outside is also moving along strongly. And now it's Sham. Sham and Secretariat are right together into the first turn. Mike Allen has third behind them. Then it's twice a prince, and the trailer is Private Smiles as they go by the turn. Those two together, Sham on the outside. Sham getting ahead in front as they move around the turn with Secretary at second. Then there's a large gap. Make it eight lengths back to Mike Gallant in third and twice a prince fourth. And Private Smiles is still a trailer. They're on the back stretch. It's almost a match race now. Secretariat's on the inside, by ahead. Sham is on the outside. They've opened 10 lengths on Mike Gallant, who is third by ahead, with Twice of Prince fourth. And then it's another eight lengths back to Private Smiles, who is trailing the field. They continue down the back stretch, and that's Secretariat not taking the lead. He's got it by about a length and a half. Still Sham, 10 lengths back, Mike Gallant, Twice of Prince. They're moving on the turn now. For the turn, it's Secretariat. It looks like he's opening. The lead is increasing. Make it three, three and a half. He's moving into the turn. Secretariat holding on to a large lead. Sham is second, and then it's a long way back to Mike Gallon and twice a prince. They're on the turn. It's Secretariat is blazing along the first three quarters of a mile in 109 and four fifths. Secretariat is widening now. He is moving like a tremendous machine. Secretariat by 12. Secretariat by 14 lengths on the turn. Sham is dropping back. It looks like they'll catch him today as Mike Allen and Twice of Prince are both coming up to him now. But Secretariat is all alone. He's out there almost a sixteenth of a mile away from the rest of the horses. Secretariat is in a position that seems impossible to catch. He's into the stretch. Secretariat leads his field by 18 lengths. And now Twice of Prince has taken second. in the Dubai World Cup. Candy Boy, Vanamos, slow to go. Teletex not showing a great deal of pace. And Keen Ice cannot use the inside. Mosha Wish came out very quickly and Frankie Dottori goes looking for the lead. Special Fighter chases him. California Chrome quickly whips up to be third. Gun Pit fourth. And then Mub to Hinge, Frosted, Vanamos and Candy Boy on the rail. A length and a half away, Hoko Tatamai on the outside of Keen Ice. A break of five lengths to Opportunity and Teletex is three quarters of a length away at the tail of the field as the World Cup field heads to the back after leaving a quarter behind in 25.3. Marsha Wish, a half length in front. Special Fighter is second. California Chrome's a half length away and he is three wide. Moved to Hitch fourth on the inside of Gun Pit. A length then to Frosted travelling three deep. Vatimos in the middle, Candy Boy on the rail. A length away came Hokko Tatamai and then Keen Ice following the fence. Opportunity is second last and Teletex whipped the field in after 
number 800 was left behind in 48.9. They're leaving the back. They're leaving the 800 metres mark behind and Frankie Plakes play. Mosha Wish in front by a neck. Over special fighter. Morp to Hedge. Getting up on the rail. The leader has left the fence. California Chrome is now posted four deep. Frosted letting go. He'll be five wide on the turn. Then came Candy Boy Gun Pit and opportunity as they flatten for the run to the judge. California Chrome out wide and loomed up. Mashaw Wish in the centre. Morp to Hedge on the rail. They get away from Special Fighter. But California Chrome has gone into overdrive. He's two lengths in front. He's clear of Morp to Hedge battling on. Then Mashaw Wish, but it's California Chrome in front. It's alchemy in Dubai. Chrome turns to gold. California Chrome wins the Dubai World Cup.